Hello, everybody. And we're back again for more fun, food, funnies. It's me, Larry. I'm by myself today. Josh is who knows where. And um, let's see, what should we start with? How about we're going to do some TV dinners, frozen dinners today. We're doing a new Hungry Man Select series. These are the big ones. And I have no idea what makes these different than just Hungry Men, why they're called Select, really. It's nice the way they got it written on there in that gold script. Uh, and this uh, dinner, we got it right here. Here it is, right here. Here it is, right here. Let's get things straight here. Okay. And we'll put this here. Why didn't tell you what was in it? Let's get this piece of wrap off. Like so. It has tender dark chicken portions with homes. Dark chicken portions with homemade mashed potatoes, mixed vegetables, and includes an apple dessert. Uh, they look a little bit bigger than the uh, regular ones, I guess. Let's stay there. And let me give you a little close up here what I'm talking about. There goes the box. Let me see if I can get that in the frame right. Okay. We have the chicken, vegetables there, corn, and carrots. And then we got some apple stuff for dessert. And the mashed potatoes mashed potatoes okay and um, hmm. I guess we can try eating it right out of the thing there should we get that a try okay there's a piece of chicken and it's hot Chicken's pretty good. It's been a long time since I've had a um, frozen dinner like this. I'm hungry, man, one especially. Probably a year or better. Every once in a while I'll get the um, ones with the turkey and gravy and stuffing mixed. Everyone wants holidays of last year. Here's the uh, the uh, mashed potatoes. Let me try you another piece of that chicken. That chicken is pretty good. Raw. Hungry man one. Okay. And we'll go like that. That's really good. A little bit of ups the latter a little bit taste than a normal one. Well, he's made by Swanson. I forgot who makes these Hungry Man dinners. Um, I don't see anybody's name really on there. And, um, Got some vegetables there, some corn and peas, no string beans and uh, carrots. Mm. 
This is not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let's do a cleanse joke while we're waiting for it to cool off a little bit. And this is a question and answer one. How much room is needed for fungi to grow? Fungi is mushrooms. Fungi. So how much room is needed for fungi to grow? And the answer is as much room as possible. As much room as possible. Mushroom, much room. Get it? It's kind of a um, kind of a uh, scared thing. Okay. Let's take another bite of this uh, breading with the chicken. Drop it off. That's not bad at all. On a one to three scale, mashed potatoes, a little bit of corn and stuff. It's really good. room as possible. As much room as possible. Mush. <clears throat> Fun guy. Mush. 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 Okay. I think that's going to do it. As you can see, Josh was in here today, but I think he'll be back. If in fact, I know he's back for the next show. As we do a little Halloween show, some Halloween type of food, I think. Get yeah, a little bit more of that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get into these uh, on a one to three scale. These uh, select, select, hungry man. 36 grams of protein. This is a classic fried chicken with all the fixings. Not bad. I think these were about 350, something like that. Three, four. I don't think it was four. But anyway, that's the way it goes. That's the way it's been. And I'm telling you, if you don't like it, switch to another show. But always come back and see us. Because we like you guys. After all these years, we still like you. So, that's going to wrap it up for today. Hope you have a nice day. I'm trying to find a one with the screaming on there. It is right there. See you later. Bye. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, I quit. See you later. Bye.